Hey everyone, it's Kelsey AK Real with Mrs. B, and I'm back today because I was tagged by the wonderful budgeting planner girl for this tag that has probably been going around a little while and you've seen a few of them called How to Live on Less and Save More. So there are seven questions, and if it looks like I'm reading from my screen, it's because I am. Uh, but I have the seven questions down in the description box. Uh, if you want to follow along, I will try to put down in the description box also um, a playlist or a list of all of the YouTubers have already done this tag. But at this point, I don't know who hasn't done this tag. So if you are interested in also doing this tag, please feel free. Just mention me in your video and uh, let me know down in the comments if you end up doing it so I can go check it out and see what your responses are. So, question number one, what are the most important frugal things you do every day to save money? Now, I don't consider myself to be like a really frugal person. Um, I like having things, I guess. My husband would definitely say that I like stuff <laughs> um, and unnecessary things, I'm sure. Uh, I do like to save money um, and probably the way that I do it every day is through meal planning. That has probably saved me more money than anything else. Um, just looking through my pantry, my fridge, my freezer, and then, um, then looking at the ads for what is on sale and searching for the best deal. It takes a little time, but it's well worth it because I save money and I'm never wondering like, what are we gonna have for dinner tonight? And then going to get something out to eat instead because um, I wasn't prepared. All right, number two, what is your best strategy for saving on utilities? Now, my husband and I live in an apartment. Uh, we are very fortunate to have a lot of our utilities included. We have our heat included, we have gas included, and we have water included. Uh, so we just pay electric. And I do know a little bit about uh, saving on our electric bill. Um, we typically run between $30 to $60 throughout the year, depending on if we had to use the air conditioner or use the fan more consistently because it's hot. Uh, so the way that we save is immediately when we moved in, we took out all of their incandescent light bulbs and replaced them with our own fluorescent or LED. Originally we had all fluorescent ones and then more recently, um, if those burn out or we catch them on sale or something like that, we've been changing to LED light bulbs. And I swear on those that it saves us a lot of money. And then also, I don't know, some apartment buildings, they, they charge you if like a light bulb is out. Um, so if you just replace all of them with your own, <laughs> then you don't have to worry about that. Um, you just re put them back in when you move out. Uh, so it definitely saves a lot of money, and you can actually get LED lights now at the dollar store, which is pretty cool. So the investment in buying light bulbs completely outweighs the um, cost savings that you have each month on your electric bill. The other thing is, I don't know if everyone knows this, but even when things are plugged in and not turned on, they use electricity, especially like your microwave or TV and things like that. So I definitely recommend if you are not using something, make sure to unplug it. Um, I definitely do that if, if we're out of town for like a day. Um, I unplug like everything or turn, you know. Um, otherwise, you know, make sure to unplug your charger because that's something we always just keep in because of convenience. But if you want to save some, definitely do that kind of stuff. All right, number three, what is your best tip to save on food and household products? Well, kind of related to number one, you need to look at what you have already and then shop the sales based on what you already have. What meals can you put together from your pantry and the sales? Uh, that saves a whole bunch of money on food. And then shopping at places like Aldi are is amazing. I mean, I, I love Aldi. <laughs> there needs to be, I'm so fortunate that it's across the street from our apartment. It's fantastic. It's way cheaper than um, shopping at like our local pick and save or some people do Sendix or Whole Foods. I mean, that can get very pricey. Also, shopping with coupons. Learn the stores around you. Now, we have a Meyer by us, pick and save, Walmart, Target, Sendix, and I say pick and save Aldi. 
All right, we have a lot of places within like a mile of our apartment and we get all those ads. It can be time consuming, but um, for example, our pick and save, you have two days a week that you can double manufacture coupons up to five coupons, a dollar each. So you can save $10 right there on coupons. And even if you just go there to get those few coupon items and that's it, I mean, fantastic. Uh, there's also like Myers has an app in which they have special coupon deals um, with through the app. And then if you use the app every $100, you get like $2 off and things like that too. I think Target also has the Cartwheel app, which is fantastic. And then you can also look at apps like Ibotta, um, which you can earn some money for things that you've already purchased. So definitely look at that types of stuff as well. And then lastly, definitely on like household products, um, Amazon is amazing. Um, I have a video that either just came out or will come out on why I love Amazon Prime. And one of the reasons is that you can get household items per, for a very good price. You can do um, their pantry, Prime Pantry, and fill up a whole box um, of items and they have coupons on there as well. So definitely go check out Amazon. Sometimes I find things um, way cheaper than I do at Walmart. All right, number four, what is your best tip to save on clothes? Um, I guess don't buy them <laughs> uh, unless absolutely necessary, I guess. Uh, we did spend kind of a lot on clothes in June and it was because it was my husband's birthday. That was kind of his gift. And also he got a promotion, so he was kind of wanting to wear like a little nicer stuff um, and things without logos. So where I shop, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They have amazing clothes, like high-end kind of clothes for a really reasonable good price. And then also, of course, Goodwill. Goodwill is a fantastic place as well. All right, number five, what is your best strategy to stay out of debt or pay it down? Well, I think we've been doing a pretty good job and it's all due to the fact of sticking to a budget. That means making sure you make a budget and then tracking your expenses throughout the month to stay on track with what you planned. Uh, so I recommend making sure to track your expenses, your transactions at least weekly. Now I do it daily um, because then you know how much you have spent and how much you have remaining in categories so you don't go over and um, it gets easier with time. But sticking to a budget, uh, you know ex you're telling your money where to go and um, you know how, how much you're gonna be able to put towards debt and then that's kind of motivating, you know, if it's gonna be like 40% of my income, like can I make it 41? <laughs> um, if I just save a little bit in groceries or things like that. So a budget is key. All right, number six, please share one thing you do to save money that other people don't know. Uh, I guess this is kind of difficult. Um, one thing I can think of is I don't buy water bottles. Um, I don't really like our faucet water though. Um, but I think water bottles, like it's bad for the environment, first of all, because it's a lot of plastic and it's pretty expensive when you get water for pretty cheap from the faucet. So a while ago, we bought a pure filter thing that sits in the fridge. I'll actually link it down below because it's fantastic and it's a great deal on Amazon, of course. And um, it fills up like a couple gallons. It's a lot. Uh, we go through it pretty frequently though um, and it just sits in the fridge. It's great. So I, I feel like I, we're definitely saving money going that route on more filtered water. Uh, I know some people put it on their faucet as well but I like cold water so my cat's playing in a box. <laughs> um, so I think that kind of saves money. And then also a little tip is um, I think it's kind of a scam. <laughs> Those filters that they give you for water filters, they say you should change them like every three months. But I've heard and done some research that technically you do not have to change them unless water is not going through the filter anymore or like black stuff's coming out or anything like that. I don't think that we've change this filter for like six months or something and it's still going. Um, I think they just want you to buy more filters. So little tip, you can go longer than the three months. <laughs> All right, number seven, how important is it for you to save money? Um, extremely, extremely important. 
Uh, the more I save on things on a monthly, weekly, daily basis, the more I'm able to put towards my goals, which at this point is paying off debt as soon as possible. So saving money is everything for us to get closer to our goal. And I cannot wait to be done with baby step two. <laughs> Alrighty, so again, thank you, Budgeting Planner Girl, for tagging me in this wonderful tag. Go check out all the other wonderful YouTubers who have done this tag, and I know I'm watching them to see um, the different responses and all the tips that they have to offer. And if you would like to participate, make sure to leave me a comment below to say that you are doing a video. So um, I will catch you all soon in my next video. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.